hey, Kevin, Mike Larkin, um, here's the draft that I'm going to send you. Um, here's the um, reputation to traffic. Okay, so I did a, a short presentation on that. The time lapse where we can put a pin into digital dealer or uh, NADA and, and capture all the people that attended um, with ads on their phones. Okay, um, and this is a, a map. I'm gonna show you the, this in a second. And underneath here is gonna be this video. It's not gonna be a little video, it's gonna be a YouTube. All right, so so here's what, here's what we're looking at, right? Is here's the, um, what, what I call the four cores in digital marketing, okay? So we've been working on this for a decade. In each one of the, well, for, first of all, there's a video that shows you what you're looking at, but in each one of these, there's a, um, called a portal, okay? So if you press the portal, it opens up to reputation management and all the, um, the products and services we got in there, right? Underneath there is what we talked about was the reputation marketing, right? And then here is the um, expose videos where we're able to take an expert in an industry, give them a script, and they read the script inside uh, or on their computer, and it produces a, um, a video that's going to rank on the first page of Google, okay? We're not gonna talk about this right now. Um, if you wanna see samples, um, one of them is go to Google and type in um, uh, Tesla Washington DC uh, Washington DC here it is, reviews and there's a number of uh, five-star videos here um, and there's another one uh, Tiffany Tampa reviews here's a big one here um, and I can explain how this works but we just want to sell a bunch of them instead of just selling a one-off and the reason is because it populates on the first page of Google and then to market this because this is where 87% of the people go and the first thing they look for is your reviews. But if you look on Google for any company's reviews, they don't see this. And this is why we want to go after the car market because um, if 87% are going and, and checking out whether they're a reputable company or not, the next place they go to is, okay, I'm satisfied and go shopping for a car for that company or vice versa. They go shopping, they find the car they want. They're now a lead for this um, dealership locally and they go locally to find, hey, if these guys reputable or not. Make sense? Okay, so so that's that. Um, some things that uh, the guys have been talking about is automation and social media. Um, again, if you wanna check that out, it's right here. Um, funnels, where we take a landing page and all the stuff that comes from traffic to a landing page um, and into a sale we do here so this is where I'm I'm focused on is reputation into traffic okay so so the the links I supplied you with were are, are gonna take that but I what I want to show you is um, what I tried to show you, but in a short time we had, is the um, the platform itself. Okay, how powerful this it this is. So I'm gonna put on um, for a, a campaign car test. Okay, um, let's say I'm talking to a, a, a principal or a GM, and they say, "Hey, I want the landing page to show up when somebody clicks on my ad." Okay. So somebody clicks on your ad and go landing page, that way you can capture their data, their name, email, and phone number, okay? Or when somebody clicks on my ad, 
they're calling my BBC or they're calling the, the sales department. Okay, here's, um, so, so when I click on that, I put in the number. Okay, so we'll stick with this for now and then you put in the URL where the landing page is. Okay, um, is it gonna be an image ad or video ad? Okay, we do both. So that's why I asked you, do you have any experience on, on graphic design? You don't need it, but <coughs> it helps, right? So here's the, the um, big data. It's in interests, right? Demographics, target URLs. So target URLs is after we were in a campaign and then we find out where the most clicks are on those URLs and then the second campaign, we target those URLs because it's giving us the best bang for the dollar. Retargeting is when somebody uh, it's like fingerprinting when somebody goes to your site and goes away without doing anything that pixel launches up to your browser and then we can show ads wherever they go time-lapse uh, it speaks for itself but we have 12 months we're able to follow somebody around after they've been physically to an address and we do that via mobile very powerful so in this case, um, I'm gonna show you demographics, okay? Um, I'm gonna put this in here, and sorry about this. Uh, oops, hang on. That should do it. Okay, so, um, here, here we are, okay, uh, save, um, here's the, uh, over above that, this, this is the dashboard, uh, the funds and the settings, okay, um, underneath here is, you know, the, the campaign and the budget and, you know, how many looked at it and, and all that kind of stuff, they're color coded, okay, so here we pick our business, so I'm going to pick my business. Okay, and here's the dashboard, right? Where we have the campaign, the funds, and the pixels. The pixels are gonna show you what the activity was from the visitors, okay? So we're gonna start a campaign, and again, we're gonna go to demographics. Oops, uh, car test, right? And we're gonna do demographics because I wanna show you the, the research that we've done already. All these folders represent a big data company. We have 25 relationships of 25 big data companies. So I can do a search, right? Or once I do the search, I can save it here and save it to um, my research. So here is all the research that I've done so far. Um, I think I have car dealers somewhere. Yep, right here. So it's car dealer research, and these are all the car dealers across the USA, okay? And used car dealers. And the 150 is the price per thousand impressions. So we're paying for impressions, not for clicks, okay? So um, I can open up these individually and do the research, but I've already done the research. So anything that was in here, I've already plucked them out and it's all right here. When I'm dealing with a specific dealership, like Acura, I go to Acura Potential Buyers. This is the US, so every Acura make and model is right here. And then I need to select their location and how you have every make and model potential owners of an Acura right here for that individual car dealer. Does that make sense? So um, I can do it hyper local, right? But I, I in this case, I, I just want the raw data. So it's going to seek out, and if you are a potential Acura owner or Acura buyer, you're gonna see that ad. Right. Time 
for a trade-in for your Acura, right? So they say, oh, wow, my phone knows I own an Acura, <laughs> right? But here I did every kind of company you can figure. A BMW, potential buyers. So um, when I select those, they add to it. So I don't want to, if you're selling Acuras and BMWs, this is the your ideal list, but not many. So I have to delete that every time I talk to a, a GM or uh, a principal buyer or a principal owner um, that owns their own dealership. Does that make sense? So, so this is so powerful. Um, if you look above the wizard, and I'm just deleting all these, but um, on the wizard, it's the banners. So we have a, um, a banner creator, and it's really easy to use. There's no creativity. But what we focus on is reputation ads. They convert like crazy. Um, product ads and service ads. Okay, so, or, or campaign ads, like um, we're going to give you 20% off or on something. Um, so I'd love to be able to show you and the rest of the Matador gang how very powerful this is. And me being a partner with you guys, um, you know, I, 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 it would behoove both of us. It would benefit both of us if we were to do uh, some semblance of, of business that would help you guys, help the clients, help me and you guys. You know, does that make sense? If it doesn't, that's no problem. But I wanted to show you this platform and then going back to the, the matrix, this is what we're talking about. And I'm gonna, I've already given you the map so that if you want, you can go and, and, you know, find out more information about this is through the portals, right? But I wanted to show you um, the, the, the platform in real time, what it looks like. And, um, you know, uh, the, the next part of this is getting approved for the banners. But uh, like that, I can do a banner ad set of 22 to 23 different sizes so that they fit in every size space on the internet and mobile and everything. Um, also too, the pixel is combined, the Google management pixel, the uh, Facebook pixel and the RTB pixel. So the ads reach out to 97 to 99% of all the internet. So it's just not regular, uh, regulated to the 25% on, on Facebook and the 35% on Google, it, it spreads out to all um, percentages of the entire internet. RTB is real-time bidding. So we're bidding on the ad space that somebody has um, and we can regulate that as far as how much the maximum we're gonna spend on that ad space. Okay, and how many times you go back to the same person a day, right? We can be once a day, or we can go up to six times a day. They're gonna see your ad six times in a day span. Okay, so there's a lot there. There's a lot to digest. Um, if you're you're interested in learning more and, and getting on board with me or whatever, um, I'm here for you, um, but I'm going to be doing the regular uh, stuff and, and learning about the sales process for Matador. But uh, this is here. And just, you know, uh, Nick said, hey, if you got a side hustle, <laughs> send it on. So that's me sending it on. All right, man. Thanks. Um, here it is.